Hey YouTube! So I'm here today to do a tag video that was created by Sethikins. And if y'all don't know who he is, I'll go ahead and post a link to his channel down below in the info bar. Um, but basically his tag um, was created because he found that one makeup item in his collection that prompted his love for makeup. And so he wanted to know what everybody else's story was, because everyone's got a story, right? So um, I decided that I wanted to share my story and um, kind of share with you the one product that um, made me love makeup as much as I do today. I'm going to go ahead and give you a little bit of a back story to my product before I get into it. I'm going to have to. Uh, about two years ago um, for Halloween, I did not know what to dress up as. And I'm not one to dress scary or anything like that. Like I have, I like the pretty costumes, not like the hussy, slutty costumes. Like just pretty, you know. Um, so I didn't know what to dress up as, and my husband came up with a great idea of dressing up as um, Rosie the Riveter. I'll go ahead and post a picture of what I looked like two years ago as Rosie here. And um, essentially it was really easy to dress up as her, but I didn't know how to do the hair, and so um, I went on YouTube and I just kind of typed in like Rosie the Riveter, and I came across Lisa Fremont Street's channel, and I'll go ahead and put her link down below. And she's just one of, one of the great um, 40s, 50s inspired divas out there. Well, she's not a diva, but she's, she's just fabulous, and so I think she's a diva. Um, but she's so creative and she's so passionate about her um, her look and you know basically her lifestyle. And she's she just emulates 40s, 50s um, pinup girls. And so um, I saw one of her tutorials for Rose of the River and her hairdo, and uh, it just basically took off from there. Um, but one of the things that she said in one of her videos was that she likes to um, support the smaller cosmetic or beauty companies um, and try to like get their names out there, which I think is fantastic. Um, and one of those small companies was um, Basame Cosmetics. And they are a vintage inspired cosmetic company. And basically all of their makeup is 40s, well, I guess 20s, 30s, 40s, and 50s inspired. So like in that little time frame. But this is what um, their lipsticks look like. And they're in the traditional bullet shaped um, tubes and they're gold and they have this really pretty um, design on them and then here it says Basame which in Spanish means kiss me so come on, like, kiss me um, and it comes with a little red satchel as well but I can't find one at this time but um, she raved about these lipsticks because they were highly pigmented she loved the packaging and basically I love it for those reasons and also it's a wonderful true red for me and the color that I own is Cherry Red, number 210. And it looks like this. And I know it looks like a really small tube of lipstick. Um, it costs pretty much the same as a MAC lipstick. But I would pay, I would rather buy one of these than a MAC lipstick, to be honest. Um, but this is the product that, and I've used so much of it, it used to be a little bit taller. Um, so anyways, that's what the product looks like. And I'll swatch it on my hand. Um, I love this one because it's a blue based um, red and it's just so pretty and it's just perfect for my skin tone it's not too orange um, because they have some other colors that I did buy but um, my teeth are not as white as I want them to be so I have to whiten them before I even wear them but this is the perfect color for me because it makes my teeth look really nice and white but also complements my skin tone but this was the product that made me love makeup and I'm a little bit older so I was never into makeup before like I was but I really wasn't as much as I am now and looking back on it I should like, God I should have like got on the wagon like a long time ago but this was definitely the product that made me love makeup and I just felt so beautiful and so sexy wearing this lipstick that I rocked that 40s 50s pinup girl look probably for about I don't know like eight months after that Halloween and um, 
Last year we had a contest at work for like and um, costume contest I should specify and I won the first prize which was pretty awesome and all I won was bragging rights but um, it was pretty cool because everyone was like god you look exactly like Rosie like your makeup and your hair and everything it was just perfect so um, love 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 this lipstick and I'll go ahead and put a link for this company down below um, but if you're looking for a beautiful true red lipstick I would definitely invest in cherry red Bessemme Red is really great too. Um, it is more of an orange based red. It, and it's really bright, but it's gorgeous. And I think that y'all should try it out. So um, they sell more than just lipsticks. They have like um, lip liners and uh, powders. And I think they may have foundations. I'm not so sure. Um, but it is just a really fantastic company and really fantastic products. And they just really made me feel beautiful. And after that point, I was obsessed with getting um, other like things like eyeshadows and trying out gel liners and all that stuff. So now my collection has just gone from this to more than what my caboodle can possibly contain. So I have other storage for that. But anyways, um, that is my makeup story and uh, or my makeup excavation and my one little products that prompted this entire desire to look um, gorgeous and beautiful every single day and if y'all want to um, go ahead and do this tag I tag everybody who watches it and I would love to see what your responses are as well so um, go ahead and tag your response down below and I'll see you guys in the next video all right take care bye